Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create an NPC that will random roam around, random, random, randomly walking around in the maps, in any level. Sometimes in our game, we need this type of the NPC that roaming around. It can be like the enemy is patrolling around. So, start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this. Now I'm going to close close all this project. And I will start a new project, a third person project. I will launch my Unreal Engine 4.26. Now, I will select the game, and as demo, I will use the third person game. I will name it Tutorial, Tutorial NPC Roaming 01, create a new project. It is pretty easy. Why I want to start from beginning? Because so that when all the demo, you will understand what am I doing, start from the fresh project. Everything, you can follow step by step to create the NPC. Now, this is a new project. First, what should I do? This is your main character. The first step, click the content. Click the third person blueprint. And under the blueprint, you can see this is the player, this one, the third person character. So in order to create an NPC, I also copy this, right click, duplicate, and I will name this as AI character roaming. All right, AI character roaming. Next, what should I do? I will double click this AI character roaming. This is a blueprint class. It is exactly here. In order to make this NPC to roam, first, it is under the event graph. You need to right click here, search for event, tick. Start from the event tick. First, you want you want a delay function. Drag drag out delay, and the durations you want to set a, ran, a random number. Sometimes it's one second, sometimes it's two seconds. So you type here, random float in range. The range can be can in between one second to three seconds. And once completed this delay, the next one you need to set a variable here. Alright, this one, the variable name you should put it as moving. Alright. The moving is a boolean, it's either either true or false. Click compile. Next, drag the moving out, set moving. So once completed, you need to drag and connect here. Once completed a delay, either one second or two seconds or three seconds, you set the moving to true. And then give a function of the AI. The AI move to, you let this NPC to walk. And the pawns, drag out, you type self. Because this is the NPC itself is moving and walking around. It's a self. And destinations, where is the destination to go? Here, drag out. We want a certain range. Get random reachable points in radius. 
Alright, but how big is the radius? The radius you can put about 1000. And then, where is the origin? The origin should begin from, from the NPC's original location. So just to drag out, get actor location. That's all. Click compile. And once successfully walking around, you need to set as well. Set moving. Alright, you can drag this out. Moving. Set moving. Set to force. So, on success and on fail, also the same. Now, the whole thing, you can just select it, right click, and you create a command from the selections. The comments you can double click and change it as NPC random roam walking around. This is as your reminder, your blueprint. Because when you develop a game, you will start from a single blueprint and you it will become more and more, more and more once you're adding it. So you better create a command so that when next time you refer back, you will know where is the blueprint, this one. Now click compile. Now, next, what should you do? The AI character roaming, you can drag it, drag him out. And then next, you need to search here NAV, navigations. You need to drag a navigation bound volume. Drag out. And then press R and drag here to make it wider to cover the whole territory. Once you press P, it will toggle all the areas that this NPC available to walk around. Now, I try to play and let's have a look what will happen to this NPC. Now you can see this NPC is randomly roaming around and walking around in the whole territory. Alright, so she's walking quite fast. Now I press escape and check back the AI roaming. I can adjust the maximum walking speed here. Character's movement. And here I drag out, I can see a walking. The maximum walk speed, I can change it to become 150. Enter. Next, I compile. Now I try again, play, and I observe this NPC. Now he look normal. The delay between different movements is about 1 seconds to 3 seconds, so look a little bit unnatural. Now, I will go back to there. The delay, I will change the delay. From between 1 second to 5 seconds, maybe it's better. Well, every time it will delay, maybe a few seconds, then only change another direction. Compile, and now I check again, play, where's the NPC? The NPC is here, delay a few seconds, then walk. Alright, sometimes he will stop for a while, and then continue to walk. The randomly delay stopping time is about 1 second to 5 seconds. Now, he will look more natural. Alright. So now, everything is set here. That's all for today about how to create an NPC who will roam around and walking around across the territory. You can make this NPC as a pedestrian, pedestrian or enemies, etc. It is up to you. And once this blueprint is already completed, you can retarget it to other characters and it will work as well if you already retarget it properly.
any character you can apply is AI character roaming. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to turn on the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a new, new notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation and game developing.